Oh, pretty kitty kitty. Ow, ow, ow. Look. <laughs> Let me go for you, kitty. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Are you gonna bring it back? Good job. Thank you. Ow. No, no, bring the toy. You forgot something. Go get it. Ow. Okay, ready? Her cuteness. <laughs> you going with the toy? So I'm happy to see that there's a uh, some blue sky. It's a nice change from the last couple days, huh? Dear Matt and Blair, God bless you both and a very happy Thanksgiving to your family. So it's been a while since we went to P.O. Box, yeah. I guess. I really thought it was important to send y'all a little gift. This money is a part of the legacy that my father left behind. In this life, we cannot do great things. We can only do small things with great love. Keep up the great work, my friends. As always, you are in my prayers. God bless. Paul. He sent us some money for care packages. Wow. Isn't that awesome? That's really cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, Paul. Yeah. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I've been emailing back and forth with Paul for a little bit, and he's, I mean, he's an awesome guy. And uh, he let me know that he just wanted to help more. It's just really cool. Yeah, that, that's really cool. Like, this whole care package thing that we've been doing has opened up a whole new level of just kindness from others. You know, yeah. people that you don't see that you don't know in person but like everybody has a part in it and it's really cool and i kind of see us as like the tool you know it's like we're the ones that we'll gather it we'll go out and give it to them and do all that, that uh, it's not really the hard work but you know do that that work side of it and then but yeah we we can't always get the funding yeah. i'm there <laughs> is that good man you you didn't expect that <laughs> i know we got a nice little Christmas card too from the, the Doty family. I think I'm saying that right. D-O-T-Y. Alright, so we are here getting some sushi um, at a place called, where is it? Sakura here in San Marcos. And we're getting sushi because we're celebrating some good news that Matt got for work. Yeah, that's all it is. Good job, babe. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> what were the hands? Good news. That's, awesome. <laughs> that's like what I do. Yeah. I've taught you well. Um, I also just learned that Matt's never been in a pawn shop before. I've been in one. Like I said, it's right by my office, but it's like tiny and there's not a lot to Doesn't it. Doesn't count. And no, we were just making fun of the stuff that was in there. So. No. I grew up going to pawn shops. Did you really? Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> we used to go to them all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like, while I'm at Disney World, Blair's at. I don't know why. That was our, yeah, I mean, our vacations <laughs> were softball trips. That makes me seem We could talk more about that some other point. Yeah, yeah. Let's go lady. get sushi. Come here, my buddy. Oh, Brady. You just hit your head. Go ahead. Ouch. Ouch. Here, let me just, let me just hold your butt. I just hold it. He wants the butt scratch. And then that thing is freaking out over there. What are you doing, kitty? You trying to get his tail? That's our sushi. Speaking of. Check it out. 
So this is Matt's and he gets the same thing in both rolls. This is avocado rice with a little seaweed. And then they have these fried tofu skins. And I think what they do is they slice the tofu really thin, obviously. And then they just fry it in like some teriyaki sauce. It's really good. And then I get uh, tofu, the fried tofu skins with cucumber. And then I think another one with tofu in maybe carrots. Um, but these rolls are like super cheap and they're really, really good. cat. You better watch out. <laughs> Buzz is trying to get in on his <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, you don't forget about the toy. Okay. You're in dangerous territory right there. I think it's the other way around. She's like, what? Uh, what is going on? Buzz, you're gonna hit your head. Ooh. Meanwhile. She go. But they wear out over time? Or just the one piece that's actually molds? Can anybody guess what he's talking about? <laughs> no, not that much. <laughs> anyway, um, I was gonna talk about, um, do you remember when we were at HEB today? <laughs> the conversation we had with the stranger? Yes, I told some people about it, and no one laughed about it. So I was like, is this just a weird thing? Like, They all feel the same way. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Do you want to talk about it? So there's a guy, like, missing front teeth and all. I mean, not that that matters, I guess, but it's just more so his comment. His comment was uh, to Blair, uh, something about, like, those are some biceps, you know, right? The, the, the... Your biceps are bigger than mine. Yeah. And then uh, he went on to say the comment... Um, I would be scared if you were my wife. Said I'd hate to be married to you because I'd be afraid that you'd beat me up. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> and uh, basically, I I said, what was my my comment to him? It's like I, I guess you just can't handle it or something, something said, along those lines. Yeah, you just you just gotta know how to handle it. You just gotta know how to handle it, yeah. <laughs> and I I wanted to come back and be like, well, I mean, you just have to be less insecure. Well, yeah, then I turned to her and I was like, that guy's insecure. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you can't really do a lot about it. I mean, the guy, someone that That's is weird, that opinionative and that open about it and has to tell you, it's yeah. like, there's not really a lot you can say. There's, he's already had this, he already has this weird mindset already that he has to say that and he has to make this comment and he has to feel better about it himself i guess yeah my and i mean because so, because obviously it's insecurity because he said that my arms are bigger than his and um he's like i do masonry for nine years and like you can do cardio for nine years and you're still gonna be big it's like <laughs> there's certain there's other factors than just the one thing mm -hmm. it's like yeah you probably gotta work biceps you probably have to do more than just I don't know, work for a couple hours a day and take a lot of rest. I also work Way my booty off in the gym. Um, He's probably not lifting, li lifting too much. It's like, yeah, I lift, okay, so I work my biceps. I, I, I lift 45 plus pounds each arm focused on my moves. You know, that obviously builds muscle. He's probably lifting a brick. <laughs> 45 pounds, like, with his belly mostly. You know what I mean? Like, throw it on the belly and let the belly lift it. Well, my, my thing is, like, what... 
who do you think you are to say that to my face? Like, and I mean, he said it in a joking way, but at the same time, I'm like... Well, he said good job at I, the end of it. So. Yeah, but I, it's a very backhanded compliment. And it doesn't bother me, but I wanted to be like, well, I'd hate to be married to you because you got tiny arms. Like, it's the same thing. <laughs> like, yeah, you have tiny you, arms, and I where just, are your teeth? I just don't... Like, you don't say things like that. If yeah. if you're intimidated by the size of my arms, like, let that... And this is one thing that I said to him. I said, let that make you work harder. I was like, that's it. Like, just work harder. Yeah. Like, if you don't like the fact that my arms are bigger than yours, then go work harder. I don't know. <laughs> that's on you. Or not. Just yeah. Get, get <laughs> yeah. over it, you know? It was just weird. Weird, a uh, little like, I don't care if you don't have teeth. Maybe you play hockey. Maybe you, you did something that was cooler than what I do right now, you know? <laughs> Right? Just yeah. like, let me have my arms. Like, leave them alone. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. Just kind of a little rant for you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah. Kitty! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you need to wrap some presents? Yeah, wrap party. Wrap battle. AKA, I'm going to be the one wrapping. Yeah, pretty much. I still have to finish my Christmas list. What's what? How many days till Christmas? Four? Four. Four days till Christmas. And I'm like... Hey, parents. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, we don't really even want anything, but your mom is dead set on us giving her a list of a certain it, number of items. It is fun. Like, you went through your whole life with traditions and kids, and you're like, okay, what do you want this year, son? And then you have this whole list of, like, 80 different things throughout your whole life, and then all of a sudden I start making my own money. And, and now I you just, have one thing. I just start buying my own stuff whenever I want it, and that kind yeah. of thing. It's, like, it's really hard to shop for me. You know, and other people like me too as well. But who knows? Maybe I'll come up with a bunch of little things, which all the things I need are like, I, I got my, my hair putty stolen from See, me by the wet? Canadians. <laughs> Tell because, her hair putty. Yes. Yeah, so, wow. I would love hair putty, but it's it's so hard to find the stuff I like. It's, I don't know. It's, it's only at certain Kitty. targets at certain times of the year. You're going on a tangent about hair putty. Yeah. Well, because Canadians stole it from me. The border. Conspiracy. It was no. It was. Just, it was over the three <laughs> ounce or whatever limits, and they're like, "Oh, you can go back to security." And I just didn't want to do it, so that was me. That Side was note: me. When when can we start hashtag Blair Spiracies? <laughs> tomorrow. Ow, kitty! It's always tomorrow. Oh. Uh, All right, kitty. Blair Spiracies. She bit my foot. Let's talk about them chemtrails. About them chemtrails. About them chemtrails. <laughs> Why do you say it like that, my little... <laughs>